thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Wop, wop, wobbing. What is going on, guys? It is Zerxium today with another YouTube new today. We have quite a bit of new stuff in the game. So, for the 8 a.m. set, we have ourselves Tehran Armstead. So, we're going to be able to take a look and see that card. But 72 Blitz tokens, and you can get 23 Nitrine Lane keys. Not too sure exactly how much he's going to be going for, but obviously, it's a 92 of Raw Left Tackle. Definitely exciting. Then, we also have a Legends Fantasy Pack, which I did actually do one of these. So, I'm going to be opening that in today's video. And then, for the 4 hour set, we have the Sidekick Pack. So, after i believe at 8 p.m tonight is going to be the last one so we have aaron donald and then we have nothing that's absolutely it that's literally all that we have left for the blitz promo but we actually have the gauntlet expansion number three and we have 91 overall barry church as the gauntlet player now barry church's cards usually a little bit on the slower side so i mean a nine overall strong safety not too bad still i'll definitely take that probably be my new starting strong safety i still have to see the stats exactly on him but i'm sure they're not too bad and then also we have some new stuff in the game if you take a look at the solo challenges for today or the basically just the gauntlet solo challenge for the gauntlet expansion you guys can see we have new solos and you get some pretty decent stuff so for the last solo challenge if well it says right here do not allow them to score any points this drive to earn a gold or better cornerback and a gauntlet trophy score on defense to earn a bonus gold defense fantasy reward pack now that is for the rookie one now for the veteran one it looks like you have to starting on defense find a way to score a touchdown or field goal within four plays earn a gold plus vikings fantasy reward pack and a gauntlet trophy score a defensive touchdown on the first play turn three bonus gold or better defensive players so Definitely some pretty good bonus stuff you can get. And then finally for the veteran, score two touchdowns in the first half with only four pass attempts and four rush attempts at your disposal and without allowing your opponent to score to earn a gold plus offense. Skill, position, fantasy, pack, score the first, score the two touchdowns in the first quarter to earn a bonus elite offensive player. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all these and then I'll probably have that video coming out for you guys tomorrow with the rewards that I'm able to get from that. But we also have a limited time card in packs right now. I'm not too sure if he's already going to be up in the auction block. But if he's not, we can still take a look and check out the new Tehran Armstead. And I'll show you guys his stats. But let's see if the new limited time is up already. I doubt that he is already. And it looks like he's not going to be. I don't think he'd be super cheap already. So let's take a look and see just how much Tehran Armstead is going for. I'm kind of curious to see. It costs a lot of Blitz tokens and... He's only up for 115k. Okay, that's extremely, extremely cheap for a 92 overall left tackle. 87 strength. Ooh, that's why. 86 run block. That's not very good. And honestly, I prefer run block over pass blocks here because with the way that I run my team, I like to run the ball a lot. 94 pass block, though. Extremely, extremely good. 93 pass block. Also very, very good. 90 awareness. 89 stamina. 79 speed is extremely fast for a left tackle. And a 75 agility. Now, he also has an acceleration of 87. So, really, this is like a super athletic left tackle. He also has a secure pass blocker. And, honestly, this card is pretty dang beastly. Now, if I didn't have this Donald Penn, I'd probably try to find a way to get the coins to get the strong arm set. Because, honestly, with Donald Penn, I really don't need another left tackle until Donald Penn proves me that he is absolutely terrible. So, Toronto Armstead, go for 115 KO. That's definitely going to drop the prices of left tackles. So, let's go take a look and see just how much the other left tackles are going for. And I'm not sure if there is another 92 overall left tackle in the game. Toronto Armstead going for 120K. Okay, yeah, so Tyron Smith is down to 120K now. And also, is that it for the 92? Walter Jones looks like to be taking a dip in price, 340K. Joe Thomas, I actually forgot about this card still, but 90 run block, 93 pass block, 93 impact block, go for 499,000 coins, basically half a million coins, then we have Walter Jones, 470k, but if you're looking for just like straight up great value and also a secure pass blocker, Toronto Armstead is definitely looking like a very, very good card, even though he only has 86 run block, the speed, the stamina, and the impact block, in my opinion, definitely make up for that but let's go back to the blitz promo and see if we can see this limited time card i believe he's a center for the dolphins i don't remember his name honestly but we'll see if he's up just yet and if he's not we'll go ahead and open up our legends fantasy pack and see if we can pull him ourselves. and i don't think he is let me sort by center and it would appear as though 
he is not up in the auction box. So let's go ahead and open up my Legends Fantasy Pack and see just what we're going to get out of this. Hopefully, we can get something good out of the first round. Maybe we can get an Elite or something glitchy. Can we get at least a Gold? Okay, so we do get a Gold Jabril Peppers. We actually get two Golds. Can we get three? No, we do not. But I'll definitely take some Gold in this round. And then I guess I'll go with the... Um... I guess I'll go with the Bronco, Chad Kelly. And in round number two, can we get some elites out of this round? Usually I'm able to pull at least one elite out of this round. And we do 80 overall. PJ Williams, definitely not too mad at that. So I'm going to take PJ Williams in the 75 overall. Isaac Samillo. And in the last round, we start off pretty poopy. 82 overall, Spencer Ware. Can we get something better? 85 overall, Caleb Sturgis. Not too sure how much he goes for. 85, Dan Marino. And 86, Christian Okoye. Okay, so Dan Marino, I'm going to guess, is probably not the move overall here because Dan Marino's card just did come out, so he's probably going to be flooded on the auction house. So let me check the price of the 84 overall Dan Marino really quickly on my head. And I'm pretty sure Christian Okoye is also not the move. So 85 Dan Marino is only going for 9,000 coins. And if I had to take a guess here, it's probably going to be Caleb Sturgis because he's the kicker. So he's probably going for a little bit more than everybody else. So Caleb Sturgis going for 45k. Christian Decoy is definitely not 45,000 coins. So we're going to go with Caleb Sturgis here. So we got ourselves an elite in PJ Williams and Caleb Sturgis. Not too mad at that, honestly. Made some pretty decent coins off this promo. I, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how you guys did. But for me, I got myself a Ryan Shazier. I got myself three of the Legends Fantasy Packs for the price of two because of the fact that the first one was actually glitched out and it looks like his price is taking a little bit of a hit. He's down to 32,000 coins. With these Legend Fantasy Packs being out, I'd imagine he's probably getting pulled quite a bit. Now, we also have a new Elite Token set. I did actually get a refund for mine. So let's go take a look and see exactly what's in that set. And then we'll go see if the limited time card is up just yet. 30,000 coins for Caleb Sturgis. Definitely will take that any day of the week. As you guys can see, my team is now up to a 90 overall. And yes, I'll be bringing out some gameplay for you guys. I know you guys have been pestering me to bring out gameplay. I just really have not had time to play any online games. But we're going to do this Elite Token set now. Take a look and see what's new. So it looks like it's the same thing, just they refunded it. So it will expire on Monday, December 4th. So we need 384 to 89s, 382 to 83s, and then 380 to 81 overalls to do that set. So here is the limited time Madden Blitz legend. We have a right now Dwight Stevenson. He also has the identifier chemistry. So definitely looking like a pretty good card. 90 strength with a 94 run block at the center position. Definitely something you want to get. 91 pass block with 94 impact. 92 awareness. 88 stamina with a 70 speed. 74 agility. He also has an acceleration of an 80. So definitely a very, very good card. And he also has a pretty decent chemistry with Pound the Rock, which I'm not too sure exactly what that boost but i do know that's a pretty good chemistry as you guys can see i'm rocking right now with my ben jones so with the 94 run block and also the 70 speed that's definitely very good if you guys run like single back and you like to run halfback dives running behind dwight stevenson is probably going to result in some pretty good plays but all around today i think we got some pretty good stuff and honestly i'm pretty surprised at just how cheap this man is going for right now the uh can't remember his name for some reason teron armstead only going for 120,000 coins literally shazier was about half as many tickets as him and they're going for about the same exact price right now and of course obviously the price will go up a little bit on teron armstead but a ton of people it looks like saved up their tickets to get him and it looks like just a ton of people are going to be able to get him which i didn't expect to see now i'm kind of curious to see how much aaron donald's going to be going for i don't think that he'll be going for as cheap as those guys definitely will not be going for that cheap but he's probably going for a little bit cheaper but here's my team right now i'm probably going to bring out some gameplay with this team very very soon i actually did play weekend league which i should have recorded a game or two because there was definitely some very good games there but here's my new team execute elliot ladanian tomlinson i just need i think like two more tokens which i can get tomorrow to be able to upgrade him, then we have Dak Prescott, Derek Watt at the fullback, Michael Irvin, Jarvis Landry, Brandy Moss, we also have Hunter Henry, Lane Johnson, Brandon Brooks, Ben Jones, Bruce Matthews, and Donald Penn. Now, I actually do want to see those new stats on that Barry Church, but here is my defense as well. As you guys can see, I did actually pick up Lamar Woodley to be over there at the left side linebacker position because I was kind of in a, not really like a stress position there but i definitely needed to get a better left of the linebacker so on the barry church though i'm going to pair him to eric barely really quickly 
I'm just going to read off their stats, so I'll bring up my Eric Berry so you guys can see a comparison on these stats on them. So Eric Berry has 88 speed, Barry Church only has 84 speed, so once again, he's probably going to be pretty slow. But 87 acceleration, which is almost as good as Eric Berry, 80 agility, he also has a 90 awareness with the 90 play rec, so the play rec is the same as Eric Berry, the awareness is the same as Eric Berry as well, 91 zone, so he does have elite tier zone coverage, 83 man, he also has an 82 press, 81 catching, which is actually about the same as Eric Berry, he also has an 84 block shed, which I believe is the same as Eric Berry, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Eric Berry is an 84, or actually only a 74, so definitely better block shit 88 pursuit he also has an 88 tackling with a 90 hit power now if you guys have physical front say well you have physical front tier four he goes up to a 92 pow hit power with an 86 block shit so definitely a very good looking card there now i think that card will actually go very very good for me at the backup strong safety because my backup strong safety actually plays a middle linebacker role for me and those are pretty good stats now compared to jj wilcox Definitely better than J.J. Wilcox, who I've been using there. Now I actually just picked up this Jaquise Tart to play kind of the second middle linebacker role when I go out in down formation. So definitely, I'm going to be looking to pick up that Barry Church very soon. Now, of course, he has eight gauntlet trophies, and I only have four right now, so I'm going to have to play all the new gauntlets. And then I'm also going to have to do a little bit more. But if you guys want to see a video when I do complete the gauntlet, opening up all those reward packs, make sure to let me know, and I'll definitely make that happen for you guys probably tomorrow. But I'll see you guys next time.